Several Minot residents voiced their displeasure with the city's 2019 budget last night. That budget requires an 18% increase in the city's share of property tax revenues next year, and it follows an even higher increase this year. Jim Olson reports on what citizens are saying and how city leaders are responding. I propose a sales tax increase of some sort. One after another. Maybe we need to take a step back and maybe not try to do everything at once. <laughs> Citizens came to the microphone. If we are going to consider ways to make more money, I think we should be more creative. Pleading with city council members to find a way to chop the size of the budget increase. A lot of people are moving out of Minot. You'll see the houses for sale. Um, they're moving because they can't afford it. On that point, city assessor Kevin Turnus disagreed. I'm not aware of anybody that has... Uh, been booted out of their home because they can't pay their property tax. But on the larger point that the city is about to hit property owners with a second straight year of double-digit tax increases, city leaders had to agree. We are undoing a long history here and it is painful and I acknowledge that. That long history includes a 10-year period when the city relied on one-time income and money from sales tax collections represented in red on the graph to soften property tax rates represented in blue. We have been hiding the cost of our government from ourselves through practices like using reserves to to pay down our, our cost of everyday government. The reality is that the increase in Minot property taxes between 2006 and 2016 was about 10 percent over that entire period. Yet the cost of living, the CPI, was double that. Mayor Sean Sipma well, says one key thing would make sure such tax hikes end. That's expanding the tax base. Build a base of, of uh, properties and economic development within the city and that is the best model for creating revenue that otherwise wouldn't be here. But for many people fed up with the major hits on family budgets from the yearly property tax bill, it's a bitter pill to swallow. Why does this all have to be made up in two years? Jim Olson, KX News. The final reading of the 2019 budget is scheduled for next Tuesday at Minot City Hall.